you took you took a life from lots lots of people, you know, and can't never get that back. A North County family devastated after a hit and run driver ripped a father from their lives. You're watching News 4 at 5. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. The search is on tonight for whoever hit a wheelchair bound man in Jennings. The hit and run happened Friday night near Halls Ferry and Jennings Station Road. Only News 4's Emma Hogue spoke with the victim's family. She's live from where that deadly crash happened. Emma. Sam and just a devastating turn of events. We're told Melvin Stewart was leaving his senior home and was trying to cross the street near that intersection back behind me to get to a McDonald's when he was hit and killed. Tonight, his family, along with police, are begging anyone, even with just the smallest bit of information, to come forward. I hate late night phone calls because it's always something bad. And they told me that he was in the hospital in critical condition. And a phone call Friday night that left Robert Stewart with a pit in his stomach as he drove to the hospital, where his dad Melvin was clinging to life. The 69 year old's injuries so severe he died that same night. I wish I could say I love him and I, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot of things I wish I could have said. Stewart wishes his dad would have called him to bring him food that night. Instead, he says Melvin, who was known for being independent, headed for McDonald's less than a quarter mile from his retirement home on his own. As he was crossing Halls Ferry Road near Cousins Avenue, a driver hit Melvin Stewart, shattering his wheelchair and drove off. The suspect left the father and grandfather to die in the middle of the road. That's so wrong for somebody to just hit somebody and just keep on going. You know, I you think you have better people out here than that. News 4 uncovered. This is just the latest of several deadly crashes in the area. Last August, a man and a four year old were driving up the road when they were hit and killed by a speeding driver. And in June, a two year old boy was killed and his mother was severely hurt by a speeding hit and run driver on Jennings Station Road, less than two miles from where Melvin Stewart was hit and killed. People doing 100 miles an hour just flying past, just zooming, and even in front of the department building, it was people doing donuts and stuff like that. And Tonight, Stewart is advocating for more patrols and even speed bumps to deter reckless driving, a push to prevent another family from experiencing his same pain. He took a life from lots, lots of people, you know, and can't never get that back. Investigators still haven't given us a description of that car that fled the scene, and they also haven't determined if that driver was speeding before he or she hit Stewart. We have asked police if they'll be upping patrols in this area, but we are still waiting to hear back. In the meantime, again, if you have any information, you're asked to call St. Louis County Police or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Jennings tonight, Emma Hogue News 4. Emma, you hear that family's history with hit and runs, particularly on that stretch of Hall's Fair, and you just hope that they get some answers that help them rest a little easier at night. Emma, thank you.